This is a moment Mary and Fan used to just dream about. I always wanted a dog growing up, but um, with my Asian background, my parents never let me have a dog. And so it's always kind of a stigma that they were dirty. So when she brought home Angus and a bit later Jono, she had no idea what she was in for. I fell in love. I didn't realize how much she can love a, you know, another not human being. What she also didn't realize until later is that Angus isn't your average corgi. He started playing fetch really young. Just when we were like outside playing fetch one day, we were like, wow, he is really fast compared to like other dogs that we saw. And so we're like, okay, maybe he does have a talent. <laughs> So like any good dog parent, Marion and her partner Davis decided to nurture that talent. And the flag is up. And Rye came flying off the mark to the roar of the crowd. Angus the inside and chance, chance, and Angus has done it again. Angus is the back-to-back -back champion at the Emerald Downs Corgi race. His come from behind victory made it on ESPN TV and social channels, racking up more than 400,000 views. In 2019, he won Vancouver's Beach Day Corgi race. And even when Angus is not racing, he's still racing. He is very competitive. Like every time we are at a dog park or with our friends who have dogs and we throw a ball, he'll want to be the first one all the time. You might wonder what goes into developing a champion corgi, a certain diet or exercise regimen. Well, it turns out it's just a lot of cross training. They're actually very active too with us. They hike with us, they, they paddle board with us. But Angus is the only racer in the family. Jono is a bit more laid back. He is the complete opposite of Angus. He could sleep <laughs> all day, every day if you let him. Good boy, Angus. It's the balance that keeps things at Marion's home interesting. She might not have been first among peers to get a dog, but with these two corgis, every day feels like a winning one. <laughs>